2022 has been a mosaic of progress as Atlanta Beltline Inc. continues to bring the Atlanta Beltline vision to life. Let's take a look at the big wins of the year. 1. New funding sources secured. The Beltline received substantial philanthropic and federal grant support for trail construction from the Woodruff Foundation, the James M. Cox Foundation, as well as a Congressional Appropriations Bill and the Atlanta Regional Commission's Transportation Improvement Program. In addition, funding from the U.S. Department of Commerce's Economic Development Administration and the Candida Fund went towards small business support programs. ABI also began spending Special Service District, or SSD, dollars to advance trail construction. Two, the full loop design plan identified. After ABI and the PATH Foundation wrapped up a year-long feasibility study of the Northwest Trail, a preferred route has been identified for the final quadrant of the loop. And get this, within the next two years, 80% of mainline trail will be built or under construction. Three, exceeding affordable housing goals. We celebrated several closings, groundbreakings, and ribbon cutting ceremonies with partners and wrapped up the year with the closing of 421 affordable housing units. This exceeds our annual affordable housing goal by 31%. We are now over halfway to our goal of 5,600 units by 2030. Four, Beltline Marketplace. Six minority businesses were selected to participate in the pilot Beltline Marketplace program, which provides affordable commercial space directly on the Atlanta Beltline. The businesses set up shop in customized containers on the west side and east side trails, allowing them to tap into more than 2 million visitors. Five, Opening of West Side Trail Segment Three. The public can now enjoy 1.2 miles of new trail following the ribbon cutting of the West Side Trail Segment 3, which runs along Marietta Boulevard. 6. Construction on Northeast Trail Segment 2. Construction began on the Northeast Trail Segment 2 Phase 2 behind Ansley Mall to install lighting, security cameras, landscaping, and build out the paved trail for a full 1.2 miles. 7. Selection of Murphy Crossing Finalist. ABI officially selected real estate development company Cul-de-Sac Inc. with Atlanta-based Urban Oasis Development as the finalist for the much-anticipated redevelopment of the 20-acre Murphy Crossing site. 8. Art provoked new conversations. The Atlanta Beltline welcomed the region's first indigenous stickball summit, united some of Atlanta's most celebrated style writers, and brought many new murals, sculptures, and performances to the Beltline with the annual Art on the Atlanta Beltline Exhibition. 9. Beltline Transit Progress MARTA, in coordination with ABI and the City of Atlanta, reached 30% design plans for expanding the streetcar from downtown to Pond City Market. The Streetcar East Extension Project is the first step towards bringing transit to the Beltline. 10. Lantern Parade on the West Side Trail For the first time ever, the West Side Trail hosted the beloved Atlanta Beltline Lantern Parade, drawing a crowd of an estimated 10 to 15,000 people. As you can see, the gears have shifted. We're moving full steam ahead in constructing this massive transformational project. None of this would have been possible without our partners, stakeholders, and the community. Here's to a great year, and here's to the bright future we're building together for the generations to come.